name is Gary Shank. I'm with Tarleton and & Son, and I'm a general manager. So I, I grew up in the field under my parents' company for years um, in the plastering industry and uh, would rather have my dad than a boss. So I left and went to work for one of his competitors and um, ran their work for them in San Diego. And I was recruited up in LA to be a, a, a product manufacturer and a material consultant. So I traveled um, all over the world actually. And then uh, one of the clients that was requiring a lot of my time or asking for a lot of my time uh, was Tarleton and Son. And every year they would say, one day you're gonna work for us. And uh, I used to laugh because I was traveling all over the world. And uh, in 2016, they called me and said, today's the day to talk. And I said, talk about what? And they said, we've been telling you for 17 years, let's talk. So uh, we sat down and put together a plan. I came here in 2017. I've been here, I'm going on my seventh year. I actually, they were, they didn't have a presence in Los Angeles. So when I came on board, I opened up the LA market for them. And um, here I am seven, going seven years in. So it's been working out really well. I still overlap and assist them like I did before, but now I'm an employee um, running divisions and doing things. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's what I'm used to doing with them. It's just networking for them. When you're dedicated to somebody and you like who you're working for, um, they are a very good company to work for. They're very uh, personal oriented, it's family owned business. They are very um, mindful of people and the culture and where the expertise comes from and educating people. And it's, uh, it, it's a very comfortable company to work for with a lot of knowledge and experience. Yeah, it's a, you know, in the transitional time of things right now, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of lacking of training to the newcomers to you know even a few years back where generationally there was a lot more skill set a lot more uh, individuals involved that were training forward and that seemed to take a back seat for a number of reasons and uh, you know 10 15 years ago it started relaxing more and more and more and now it's kind of reliant on the union and, and you know even if you're in a non-union it's it's very limited because you get numbered on certain positions where I think we really need to figure out how to get back to supporting the industry and bringing people in and educating them and, and, and filling them with experience, skill, levels, um, anything that can add to training the newer generations. Uh, Construction is still a great lucrative business. It has a lot of opportunity. There's a lot of things that people can express themselves with if they get involved in the right trades. Uh, again, I just think it falls back to really needing a good push forward for teaching. If you start bad habits and you don't recognize it, they continue as bad habits. Um, and again, the only way a bad habit becomes a better opportunity to grow from instead of a bad habit is getting yourself affiliated with people that are going to get you into another level. Uh, again, one of the things that I've always said is if you want to know how well you're doing, look at the people that surround you. Look at the group that you're around itself. Who are you working around? Who is providing you the information? Where is your knowledge base coming from? These are the things that really influence who you become and what your growth forward will be. What I actually bring into the industry is a lot of people know me. They knew my father. Um, again, I was born into the plastering industry, a uh, very creative side. We used to do many different things. Um, and I, and I took it upon myself to learn as much as I could of the industry and assist as many people as possible, whether it be architecturally, design issues, contractors, whatever level, even manufacturers, in bettering themselves with knowledge that maybe I had that would help them grow. So I really took it upon myself to know everything I could that would fit the industry. If I was gonna dedicate myself, be involved, don't just play the part. I think there's a lot of people that if they were more involved would have a better outcome for themselves. They'd feel more uh, fulfilled in what they do instead of just kind of going through the motions. So it, knowing what you do and knowing, you know, knowing competitors and knowing alternate products and be able to relate to them as well is very useful because there's many different perspectives that can play into the opportunity of knowledge and you have to have an open mind to keep it all together. 
Uh, what I like most about the job is, um, again, I get an opportunity to work at, at all levels, not only internally with the apprentices that we train and providing knowledge for them, um, with the journeymen, um, ask, uh, people asking for my opinions um, at skill levels, knowledge bases, applications, getting to work with the people that have a lot of skill from the historical side as well, having been in the industry for 30 plus years. Um, and really be able to relate. So architecturally, whether it be our skill set of our employees, helping them grow, helping them learn, or achieving a goal for the company as well. I think a lot of it uh, for me is, it's, it's, it's all encompassing of, of, of everything that you feel fits the desire of your growth and your opportunity and, and you know, what, what gives you that reward. And for me, uh, being at Tarleton and having that opportunity gives me that reward. Daily, um, I do have a staff of uh, estimators, project managers, and uh, uh, assistants. So depending on what the day is going through, whether we have projects to estimate or jobs to visit, um, architects to meet with to try and help them compile some details or project design issues. Um, I, I do get calls from consultants as well, asking about specific applications from what I did previous to Tarleton. Um, and again, just going through this, not every day is the same, which is great about the construction industry as well. You always have an opportunity to have flexibility. Different calls are going to happen, different projects are there. You have partners uh, in the industry that you're working with as well that will at times give you a call, ask you for information or need something from you. Um, so again, every day is a little bit different. And again, it's not the monotony or monotonous jobs that you would just go to every single day for the same outcome. Construction really provides, at least in my opinion, provides the opportunity to have very different days along the way so you don't have that redundancy and get bored with the project or, or a job. I would probably say my most exciting memory from my career will go back years ago. Again, having the opportunity as a child, even growing up into my teenage years and further working at like the, the zoo. You know, I always joke about plaster um, and we take minerals and sand and make them look like something which people don't really put that much effort or, or thought into, but creating the enclosures for all the different, you know, related animals and carving rocks and adding that vision that a lot of people don't get the chance to do, right? We used to do ships where at one time they made ships out of cement. And so at nighttime we would go down to the shipyard and we would do ships. So. I grew up with a whole different world of opportunity in the plaster mentality, which most people don't understand that today because it doesn't exist as often. But um, yeah, I had a very creative upbringing in the industry that kind of propelled me through, you know, for my interest forward. The advice for anybody that would be getting into the trade is, uh, you know, our generation is changing. Um, the environment is changing. Uh, I see a lot of people going through college and struggling to find a project. There's a lot more people involved now going to college and finding, you know, trying to find their their goal or their environment that they want to work in. Um, construction obviously puts in, you know, the, the desire for manpower, right? I mean, you have to have a, a skill set, but you have to use physical labor, um, which is not to be afraid of. It's actually just getting more involved at a different level, but be able to achieve a result or a goal or looking at a project. I always joke about driving down the road and my wife says, if you tell me about another job again, I'm gonna push you out the window, right? But you start looking at these projects that you've been involved in and you have pride and you know your workmanship shows and your involvement shows. And, and not a lot of jobs have that nowadays. You're doing a task or a series of tasks and the result is kind of mundane. Where you get into construction, you're part of a team building a project, building a hospital, building whatever it might be, and be able to reflect on that for years as you drive by or your kids grow up and they go, Dad, show me what you worked on. And you show them and like, holy cow, I can't even, they can't even fathom what that looks like, you know, as they're growing up. So when you're looking at coming out of college, even if you do go to college or if you don't, having the opportunity to get involved in construction, it's a great living. It's a great life, there's great opportunity. I think the opportunity for anybody is what you want out of it. If you wanna grow forward into a management role, I think it's just a decision you have to make and then you take the steps of knowledge and, and surrounding yourself with the people that actually provide that knowledge to help you grow. I think, uh, you know, with that, with that being said, you wouldn't get out of college with debt because you'd have a job now that pays great and gives you a nice goal in your future to be proud of.